is the ancient city loot good enough? This is something that I'm curious about, and I know a lot of other YouTubers are wondering the same thing, so feel free to share your thoughts and opinions down below when it comes to the Ancient City loot currently. You know, we got a lot of new features. We got the Recovery Compass, we got the Echo Shards, we got the brand new enchantment called Swift Sneak, so Mojang is spending quite a bit of time when it comes to the Ancient City loot, and let's not forget we can also get God Apples now. So there's quite a bit of cool and interesting features located in the deepest and darkest place in all of Minecraft, the ancient city. So we're going to be talking about this in today's video. I'm really excited regardless of if it's good or not. I'm just hyped for the ancient city, the warden, and everything else related to 1.19. It's just going to be an amazing update and we still haven't seen everything yet when it comes to the birch forest as well as the swamp biome so still more to come and as always if you guys want to know everything that's going on with 1.19 be sure to click that subscribe button join the stealth army i promise you you won't regret it and i'd love to see you around here so you know the routine you know the drill let's get straight into the video starting with our first exclusive item which is an enchantment called swift sneak now, some people love this, some people are like, okay, well, it's not something I necessarily need, but it's still cool. So, there's gonna be a lot of people that just have different thoughts and opinions when it comes to Swift Sneak, but it does increase the speed at which you move when you're crouched, I believe, by 15% per level. So, it's pretty helpful. Regardless of if this is something you're gonna use or not, it's still there to assist and help you and make things a little bit easier in Minecraft. So, Overall, I think this is a solid enchantment. Is it up there with mending? No. Is it up there in terms of wow factor like channeling or riptide? No, not really. Frostwalker? Nah. But it is going to be something that is going to help you survive. And especially now considering it's a leg enchantment and it's no longer competing with all of those incredible boot enchantments that we love, I think that boosts this enchantment up by like a point or two. So out of 10, I would give this enchantment either an 8 out of 10 or an 8.5 out of 10. It's definitely worth having. However, is it worth dying for? That's completely different and that's where things get a little bit complicated. Is this a reward worth dying for? That's not to say that you're automatically going to die once you enter the ancient city. It's just game over. However, the likelihood of dying in the ancient city compared to other biomes is still relatively high, right? I think we can all agree that it's a very dangerous place and it's extremely dark. The darkness effect alone makes things 10 times more difficult in a really fun and unique way. But let's go ahead and discuss the brand new item called the Recovery Compass. And can I just say briefly that it looks incredible. I think this is one of the coolest looking items, but is it going to be useful? The intention is for it to be useful, but is this something that's going to help you in survival? I mean, I guess it really depends on the game mode you play. You play easy, normal, hard, do you play hardcore? So there's a lot of different variables, a lot of different factors in terms of if this is something that's going to be useful for you. And is it worth going to the ancient city? Which for me, no matter what, even if they didn't add anything new, I'm still going to the ancient city because it's something brand new. But there's plenty of people out there that are like, I got good stuff. Is it worth risking it in order to go down there? for stuff that I already own or stuff that I don't necessarily need. And I'm sure a lot of people fall into this category. Maybe you already have great stuff and you don't see the reward. You don't see the incentive outside of the experience, outside of it being something brand new and a brand new creature called the Warden, which Mojang has said several times the past year or so that they don't want to encourage players to fight the Warden. And for that very reason, the Warden will not be dropping anything. That's right, the Warden is not going to drop any items. I'm not even sure if it drops XP. They've always told us that the true rewards will be in the chest. It will be the loot that you can find in the ancient cities. So this is something they've been saying for quite some time. And I think people's expectations at this point is for the rewards to be something that is going to be helpful and useful for everybody. 
and there's a lot of different categories that Mojang could easily explore, but we do have the recovery compass, and that is gonna be an item that's gonna help you locate your loot after you die. Now, in order to craft this, you are gonna need echo shards, and you're gonna need eight of them, as well as a compass. So echo shards are exclusive to the ancient city, and so far, I've been pretty lucky when it comes to finding them. I found anywhere from like five shards in the ancient city all the way to like 16, 17 shards. So it does fluctuate. It's not guaranteed that you're going to get all eight in a single ancient city. So that is something just to be aware of when you're crafting this item. But let's talk about its usefulness. Is this going to be something that's going to be helpful for your average player? that especially dies a lot. And the simple truth is yes. Being able to locate your stuff after you die is extremely helpful. But why stop there? They can make this so much better considering this is a really difficult item to craft. So I feel like they could probably make it where if you have the recovery compass, it extends the life of your items before despawning by an extra 10 minutes. That is worth crafting. That is worth going down there and risking everything in order to get those shards. But let's actually even think bigger picture here. Let's think something for every single player, every single community out there. And I feel like why stop with just the recovery compass? The echo shards, I feel like they can make the echo shards useful for everybody in some shape or form. Maybe it allows you to add a new ability to a beacon or possibly craft a different type of shield. Maybe it allows you to make a new horn, like an echo horn, which can be crafted with echo shards, and then you get a horn, a copper horn. You combine them together, and this allows you to stun the warden. Or maybe it allows you to summon the LA or something else that's unique to 1.19. There's a lot of crazy ideas out there when it comes to horns, period, that I feel like Mojang hasn't truly explored yet outside of it just being this multiplayer function. So that's for a separate video. Horns is just a tad bit underwhelming at the moment, but let's focus more on the Echo Shards. There's so many cool things I feel like Mojang can do with the Echo Shards, even in terms of functionality for the smithing table or even the fletching table as well. Maybe you can make like echo arrows or a new type of sword or a new type of bow using these shards. Share your ideas down below when it comes to specifically the echo shards. I would love to see a lot more with it, but going back to the recovery compass. Yes, it's cool and interesting and it looks great, but is it enough? The answer is no. This is a video talking about if the loot is good enough. And I feel like the recovery compass can still get there. I mean, these aren't finished features, so I still feel like they can improve it and add a lot more in terms of content and features for the recovery alone. But in terms of what we have right now, it's still not enough. Yes, the God Apples, the Notch Apples are great, um, but those aren't brand new. Those aren't exclusive to the ancient city. And let's not forget we do have the Totem of Undying, which in my opinion is one of the best items in the entire game worth farming, right? So if you have like 10, 20 Totem of Undyings, you never need to worry about the recovery compass. And the Totem is something for every player. The compass is not for every player. And we have the Lodestone, which is one of my favorite features and items from the 1.16 nether update and although it's not going to overlap with the recovery compass it does make you wonder are we getting to the point where we have too many different types of compasses which don't get me wrong that's not the worst thing it's not like a crazy issue to have but you know mojang has been trying to figure out this whole issue with staying organized and having a bunch of junk in your inventory and I feel like it's getting to the point now where we have so many different items in order to craft a single item that has a single purpose. So they have to address that first. And I think they were at one point with bundles, moment of silence for bundles. So I think once they figure that out, figure out how to make things slightly more organized for the player, 
then I think I won't be as against Mojang adding a feature that has a single purpose. So I think once they achieve that, it'll just be a lot better for everybody. But in the meantime, what can they do right now to make the Ancient City loot worth exploring for everybody? Because I think that's what they're trying to achieve. And I would say the answer is pretty simple. Either add a new weapon, add a new armor piece, add a new totem, or add something that's either a new music disc or possibly a new skull, like a treasure item, something that you can truly collect and showcase it, and it'll just be more of a collectible. It doesn't have to be something that's truly functional, but as long as it's something that you feel like you can showcase in your house or showcase to your friends, I think that might be a really cool feature. But if you guys want to see me talk more specifically about what they need to introduce into the ancient city, let me know down below. I can actually just focus on specific ideas. But as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Notification squad, y'all are the goats. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care. Peace.